create uh, our page and uh, in this page we create menus and after creating the menus we link a file about us contest uh, contact us and blog and when I when we click on blog then we got a sign up page now in this class we create a login page after sign up user can login and if I create a uh, click here then in our project login page is not there so in this class we are discuss about sign up page and uh, we write a code for uh, sign up as well as login in this project so in previous class already we uh, create uh, one uh, database uh, uh, and uh, sorry we will be using a normal database and uh, we use uh, default uh, database system and uh, sys or uh, in that database we create a file and uh, if I remember the file then our file name is our file name is uh, user log so yeah this is our uh, file name and uh, we create id as a uh, primary key of these tables and we also uh, write trigger for it and as we provide a sequence so we, our database will ready and uh, we also insert some record in this database let's see select a stick from user block so we create to uh, record in this table and we see records are there so first record is 1001 admin email address is x at the rate y dot com and the password is uh, admin and second user is uh, admin of uh, his uh, email is admin at the rate y dot com and uh, password is admin in capital letter so we created this two record in this table now this is a time uh, to create uh, <coughs> a login page in this project so let's open the code so in sign up project when we uh, click on that link the line uh, login.jsp file will call but we don't have a login.jsp file so let me first create a login.jsp file in our project so let me save this file and the file name is login.jsp okay let me save the file so now i have a file login.jsp and let me uh, press it and when i click on uh, <coughs> log uh, already have an account then login.jsp file will load so this file will load but uh, is nothing in this file so we didn't get any output okay so let's start code in login.jsp file so for that uh, Uh, let me copy the structures of uh, HTML okay so we have uh, uh, basic structures of HTML now let's create a form tag in form tag xn equals to sum xn and 
method equals to method close the form tag okay now in this form tag let me again uh, create h2 tag similar to the uh, sign up so why not uh, let me do one thing i just uh, copy that page Fine, let me copy that page and paste it here. So now uh, I just copy and paste the code here and uh, for that I have to just uh, add it thing like uh, just put here login. After I put it the login uh, Okay, we need a username or username slash email and uh, okay, fine. Uh, we don't need this field here, so I just delete it and uh, then after is yes, I needed a uh, password. So, okay, password will be created now uh, placeholder was okay and then click on submit button uh, when uh, uh, we click on submit button then uh, we get sign up file so sign up dot csp and you have to change that uh, and don't have an account so if you don't have the account click on sign up so let me change login to sign up and save it ok so here almost our login page will be ready to use but uh, we have to provide some validation so if C so I just use C prefix and this uh, uh, C prefix, prefix we use for a call uh, from the call type we will uh, Defined in upside of the page. So if text equals to so here we use not empty error. So generally, what I did it here already we uh, do these things when we work with parameters and uh, this is uh, a topic and this topics will comes under expressions language so Generally, uh, we see how to put the expressions 
in uh, HTML or inside the HTML or in JSP page. So here exactly we are just implemented the expressions. We will run uh, about it little bit more in theoretical way because in practical way we are used in so many programs where we will see uh, theory uh, for this uh, expressions or uh, JSP expressions in this video only. So we also discuss expressions language in this video. So already uh, this is the implementation part of expressions language and I exactly use the expressions here. So we call error and again I am gonna use expression so I just printed here error well, let me close that part C colon yeah. so C is a prefix of tag library code type library and we will discuss about later on. okay so when uh, we request request some are sent to some URI and uh, currently we just uh, able to write the method and yeah we use post method we don't use get method okay so let me do one thing uh, just see the output of this page so when we click on already have an account I go to the login and we see uh, this is our login page okay so fields are there we see the fields when I click on submit button so default validations we get and if you don't have an account uh, don't have an account sign up so if we click on sign up then sign up will not call okay we will see that it goes there is a problem is so ahref sign up spam sign up ok why the page is not found let me save as so let me see whether sign up is there or not is there sign up dot csp all are good why well, this page is not called okay so for that actually we uh, need some more copy paste stuff the stuff we use in login page the same uh, css I'm gonna provide to okay I'm not using metadata now so same uh, CSS I am providing in that page also so uh, let me refresh once blog don't have applications C we got login page and when I click on it this page is not found okay login will call now I have in sign up so let me once stop and stop the code so let me stop and start the server first And then start the server. Okay. Refresh. And 
no Simon. A H R E F. Sign up, login, address. Okay. Let me check. Login is there, sign up is there. Stop. And start. Okay, let me check again. File name is sign up as I. Oh, 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 oh. In file name we have capital P and we put it here small p. Okay, let me refresh one. Now blog already have account and login. If don't have account, sign up. So this will be work properly. Nice. So uh, my database is ready and my both forms are ready to perform and database is ready and forms are ready. Now this is a time to write a logic. So first of all we need to write a logic for sign up and if we need to write a logic for sign up we have to perform multiple operations within it so uh, if we use JSP we write a code in JSP code or uh, uh, connections code we can write in JSP only or we can also use servlet for database connections so let's see the example and uh, we can see the example with uh, JSP so let's see with JSP. So we uh, sign up with uh, JSP technology and we log in with servlet technology. So for that we can cover both the technologies in this project. Now we need to send a request. So when we click on submit button. The request sent to the other page. So let me call sign up for that. So sign up 
this is a sign up page so this is exactly a sign up form and uh, I want to send a request to sign up db file so sign up db dot csv file let's create this file so for that we need one more csv okay new java sorry not java new csv and here we just uh, create that file so my file name is sign up db okay let me save it and uh, save this one and test first when we uh, submit the request from the sign up then request will send or not so let me click on sign okay need a required username so we sing put email address is so my email address is uh, Put us some x at the rate y.com and password 123456. Reenter 123456 and then sign up. Okay, this page will call. So, no problem for that logic. So, this page will call after. Now, what I need to do write a code or a sign up code for this uh, in this file so first of all we have to use uh, directive tag and let me use page directive here so I use page directive language equals to of course java and uh, content type you can use text html and uh, character set so we use character set utf8 and uh, page and coding is also page and coding is also utf okay so now time to use uh, other page directive so let me use another page directive for import the java dot sql dot okay i miss syntax here fine so let me use a scriptlet scriptlet tag and here let me create some variable so string name equals to request dot get parameter okay username now again I use 
और ईमेल एंड रिक्वेस्ट डॉट कैट पैरामीटर कम फ्रॉम ईमेल आफ्टर डेट वी आल्सो चेक वेदर वी यूज करेक्ट पैरामीटर और नॉट एंड वी गेट पासवर्ड फ्रॉम पासवर्ड एंड वी पुट पासवर्ड ऑन password tag and again we use okay we cannot use others so uh, when the request come from the server or from the client we retrieve these parameters and why i am not to uh, take uh, confirm password uh, here because for that we can use yes in front end only so why we send a request in back end for just comparing both password are similar or not so such logic we can write on login or uh, or sign up dot gst page only so i just retrieving this three parameters for creating a new user and then after i just create few more variables so first one is belonging to connection class so connection con object connection object and i put it null now and we can use a prepared if we want if we don't want to use prepared we can use uh, we can directly use uh, statement so let me try with prepared and then after we will directly try to execute the query A statement stmt equals to equals to null. Then a try block, and we use class dot for name. Remember, if you are not using try and catch. by connecting the driver or loading the driver you get an error so always write this code in try and catch block and uh, like that we can also uh, cover one more topic called exception handling so we we'll see the practical we can use here so my driver is oracle or a car driver so or a car dot jdpc dot driver dot or a car driver and let me create object of Connection. So, driver manager dot get connection. Okay, like that. We can use JDBC colon or get colon. in colon at the rate local host colon 1521 a port number or default port number of oracle colon we use express addition so xe database as name 
and uh, our username is uh, system and our password is tiger so after we need to uh, sign up uh, code for preparing the statement so let to uh, first prepare the statement so prepare the statement object i am using and equals to connection object dot prepared statement and we write a query here so our query is insert into a user blog or let me check first a table name is user blog so insert into user blog and for user name c our table attribute is so we have id user underscore name email and password so user underscore name user name email and password so we not uh, worry about uh, id because id will auto generated by trigger so values question mark comma question mark comma question mark so like that we can uh, uh, prepare this statement and again we use the object to assign the values so dot set string so let me set first for name so our uh, okay our variable is name so first for name let me copy that second for email and third for password and after that we need to execute this statement So prepare dot execute update. If uh, this execute update is not working, then we use some others like so. This is another way to implement this and then use implicit object response response dot send redirect.
login dot jsp so if uh, all this will be execute and we didn't get any other then response dot login page will be called and if we get some error then catch will handle it so let me put some catch So I just use exception. So exception object is E and uh, let me put E dot print stack track. We can also use uh, system dot outer print ln to print the error or some print writer object for printing the error out dot print ln we can use but okay we can also use e dot print stack track method of exception class and uh, after Uh, if all things are goes properly then we have to do something here and these two things are very much important first close the connection object and close the Because if you not close those objects, this will be uh, open and connection will open. And if others client will request, then uh, it might be creating a lots of problem. So better to close. And a same code I want to do with exception catch block. So anyhow, this those two connection will close whatever the things are happened okay so our sign up db code is ready to use so when we sign up this page will call so let's see output of this page so let me refresh go to the blog okay are working properly now let me take some x at the rate y dot com password is one two three four five six and confirm password is one two three four five six now let uh, sign up oops so some error are there let me see what is error is so in line number 10 we got an error prepared statement Rise the error and prepared cannot be resolved to a type. Okay, then uh, prepared will not uh, uh, working here. So, I need some error. So, what we have to do is So what is the other things to do with this uh, program? If prepare is not working, we can directly use the statement and we write the statement and execute the statement like we did uh, in so many projects. Prepared statement will not work. Okay. So 
fine we can use uh, others method we can use uh, direct write a program statement okay Might be I getting the errors. Let me compare one thing. I pass few values. I pass username. Okay, then user name is there. I pass email, then email is there. I pass password, then password is there. And uh, here I use the same username, email, and password. Okay. Okay, so a few things we have to do now because we use a database and uh, uh, there is a problem in our projects in uh, library we didn't paste our database uh, libraries so let me first do these things because uh, let me confirm that okay we have not did a mistakes by while using all so we have so many database programs we go there you go and live and just copy this libraries and after copies copied this libraries we just paste it on our projects so let me do this thing first okay now our driver is there and uh, let me stop and start the <coughs> server because this is so important okay now server is started let me just refresh Log. Already have account and login. Don't have account and sign up. Password is one two three four, and the confirm password is. So 
line number 10 same errors prepared statement equals to null uh, prepared statement equals to null let me check the spelling e-r-e-p-a-r-e prepares statement as capital S T A T E M E N T that is what a mistake is in line number 10 prepared statement and let me check here prepare statement P R E P A R E S T A T E M E N T okay here is okay and upline there is a spell problem and prepare a statement so we created the object of prepare case RT only prepare statement object fine so let me again save that program and try once more log now I think no issues are there 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 okay see our login page will display it means uh, my record is inserted in database let me check statistic from my username see id is 1003 ravi singh rajput xyz is my email address x at the rate and 12345 is my password so our uh, sign up page was working properly now this is the time to code in login so let me take another uh, file for login so what we decided is now for sign up purpose we use JSP so we can use the uh, JSP here and uh, for login purpose, we decided to use servlet, right? So for that, we have to create dot class file. So if you want to to use servlet now from uh, login page, so we have to use servlet so let me put some action uh, so in action I put login servlet so login servlet is my URI so I use login servlet and uh, create one java file now and the java file name must be a login circuit so let me save this file with a name of login servlet dot java okay so let's save the file login servlet dot java so our class is login servlet and uh, don't have main okay writing any code first of all we have to include some header files so our header file is import 
java dot io dot asterisk now import java dot sql dot asterisk now import java dot io dot io exception and e is capital of the exception now import java dot io dot print writer print print writer now import java dot sql dot connection now import java dot sql dot driver manager almost i can uh, ah, import all the required file and two more files are remaining import so i'm using 10.1.8 version of uh, tomcat so i use jakarta self -lead. so no more java x and import jakarta dot servlet dot http dot st okay now this is the time to create a class so class must be a public login servlet extend http servlet here we use private connection object con equals to null okay then we use a servlet lifecycle method public void init and For that we use try and catch. So let me catch. So exception. E and uh, uh, in sign up we use uh, the same we can use here e dot okay so catch is also over 
and uh, for put in, in it now write the code class dot for name so our driver is oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver so oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver and now let connect on equals to driver manager dot get connection so driver manager dot get connections and here we write a connection string or url so our connection string or url is jdbc colon or oracle colon and driver colon uh, so our oracle is running in localhost so localhost colon 1521 default port number of oracle database is express addition so xe and uh, some username so username is system and password is tiger so this is what our connection string is and uh, we can uh, also write uh, a method for uh, this is for init so in init method well uh, almost we done with init and uh, we have to define one more method for closing the connections called public void destroy and else so in this part we use try now con dot close so we are just closing connection string and it is very important and if some errors are occur we can catch the exception e and we just print the exceptions So we use a dot print stack track. Okay. So this method is also over. Now our next one is so next method is public void do post 
so this is our uh, servlet method so we use to post http servlet request request and http servlet response so response so we create uh, uh, this http servlet request for the request and http servlet response for response and uh, we have to throw the exception now throw servlet exceptions and we also want to throw input output exceptions ok this will be ok now let's start uh, with the block and uh, in the block uh, we write a code for validations so for that first of all we need data from the request and we have to create a string so firstly we get an email so i just use an email and request object for get parameter so we get a request object get parameter and this will be email we have to check that in login page so we insert username not insert email so the name comes from is username so let me take username for first parameter and for second parameter I use password and variable is password ok so these two parameters we did try these two parameters come from the client and we see these two parameters are so here is a password and here is a username so that is why I use username as a name and if you change here uh, email then we also use email so let me change id to email so okay in this salute also let me use email only fine getting the email <coughs> now this is the time to uh, again we have multiple options by using prepared statement or by using a result set so see uh, we uh, create uh, either prepared statement or uh, either we use which one a simple statement so it depend on us that what we want to do the so last program or in our JSP we can use prepared statement so here let use simple statement so let me create the object of statement so statement stmt equals to so 
I have con offset so con dot create statement con dot create statement and uh, by using this statement only we can use Uh, we can run the queries for, for running the query we need result set object so let me take uh, a result set object rs equals to so uh, we can use prepared statement and even we can directly use result set object so this is uh, uh, select queries we use here so I think better to use the direct statement over here so result set equals to statement so stmp dot execute query so we see we use that execute query and now this is the time to write the query here for executions so for executing the queries We have to write the code and uh, what code we want we write here is mm, is a TML statement so select stick from uh, our uh, table name is let me check once so user block so let me put user block so this is uh, what our uh, table name is so select asterisk from user block where so we we use here where clause where email equals to so where what we did it without a conditions where the email equals to then here exactly we write a code and uh, this is a string and that is why we are using a single code here so where statement is equals to email so here we are getting the request in email variable so I just put this email variable over here so I take this email variable from here and put it here so email where email equals to here uh, email and we use and clause password we not use or see we use and and password is equals to password so I just use both the variable in query so once this will be done now this is the time to execute 
the query. So for execution of queries, I have to use uh, sorry for uh, this is for executions of the query. After execution of the query, let me check whether we found some record or not. So for that we use if statement. So our result set object is rs. We check whether rx dot next or not. So if uh, some records are there in rx, it's return one, and we get the uh, we getting that okay we got some result. And if we got some result from the database, it means the user is exists and user is a valid user. So what to uh, uh, do here, uh, first of all if the user is valid and we get that user then we have to create a uh, uh, session for that user to make this application stateless to stateful. So we use HTTP session. Creating the object and request dot get session. So creating the session object and uh, this uh, so. We create the object of uh, HTTP sessions and uh, set the attributes on it. So let me set the attributes session dot set attribute. So I am setting the attributes in the session and uh, Session attributes. Let me set user and let me put here user name. So name. And before uh, setting the session, let me retrieve name. So I just put it here. Okay, we have to create. So, if I creating a session here, it will not take that object outside. So, let me create session object here. HTTP sessions creating a session object. Now uh, I don't want to get the session request out get session to initiate the object and set the attribute. Okay, so like that we can uh, set uh, multiple uh, attribute in session. So it's a set name. Arms dot get string and uh, we're talking about a name. Then let me open the database. Username is a field, so just put here. User underscore name okay and uh, after session will set login is success then we have to redirect the command and we use
response object so response dot send redirect and uh, after login the users goes to the dashboard so uh, after that user go to the dashboard dot js and let me close on dot close so I am closing the connection here ok so this is a code for login and uh, this is just for if if there is a value but if there is no value then we have to use a class called print writer so I am using a print writer class here out to request dot get writer for uh, printing uh, some message to the web browser so I use this print writer so else also we need to close the connection Code is not match, and then we write some code. And let me write a code in our dot center. And I must write a code. So I write a code H2 type in H2 type I write invalid email and password. Please so after that please click on So I close A here and a command sent to the login dot JSP file. 
So this is what uh, Amas says I am looking forward to print. So these are a code. So let me save it and uh, compile the code. So login server in Java. There is no error in import value. First two errors. Let me see where is the errors. Okay. First line there is error. So let's compile again. One more error. And print writer, and print writer is an error. Okay. Get writer. So let's check it. What the error is? So the error is in line number thirty-seven. Here we get the error. Print writer out request dot get writer. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Where is my mind? Response dot get writer. Okay, let's compile again. Was because in declares us to be false. Result set statement. Okay, the request throwing lots of exception. I put it throw exceptions. Fine. No need to worry about it. Let me solve it. Okay, let's compile again. Okay, program will compile. So 
so login servlets thought Java will call when I click on login button but uh, servlets how the servlets is called if I use notations that is was okay but uh, here I am not using any notations so there is a one way to use the notations and there is a second way to use XML so this is the time to our XML file where is that so let's open our project and the thought XML is there but there is no servlet so let's create some servlet servlet name and then servlet Now, servlet mapping servlet mapping. So here we get URL pattern. So a URL. and uh, here uh, we get the URI but uh, we don't have right now a URI let's check the URI so login.csp our URI is login servlet so let me put URI as login servlet our servlet name is login servlet Okay, and our class is also login servlet so that login servlet will call uh, our class is ready our uh, web apps is ready our program is ready so in our program let here we see if login will succeed we write a code this is forwarded to the dashboard.csp but I am not creating any file dashboard.csp so let me create some file control s the file name is dashboard so here is a dashboard.csp file and just save that and I just use h1 tag for just simply printing or showing a successfully login so let me close h1 this is a dashboard dot header file i'm just using some br tag and just printed here welcome login so the simple few lines are there to know okay the commands will come here after login or not so let's go to the application now I have user ID and password if I see my database I have the x at the rate y.com password is admin so let me try login oops 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 
I did a little mistake here. And my mistakes is where is my login? I need a username, I need password, but I don't need reenter password. Captcha we can use then this things was different. I'm not using that things. Okay. Y.com and ad mrn admin. Let me log in and uh, invalid mail or password. Please try again. So our uh, servlet is working properly and just put it that invalid mail or password. So this is the time to see the logic again on login logic is said that I just getting the attribute first here so email and password I get in email and password let me check so I get email and I get password okay. no problem here we get email and password after getting the email and password I just execute that query so when I execute that query this query is also executed perfectly but is a problem let me again compile that code okay let me again stop and start the server I stop it and then started the server okay go to that refresh once Go to the blog I had xxtaritwy.com admin now login invalid email or password again okay, check the database xxtaritwy.com admin email password okay so this query will run and when after running the query it not getting result user log is my table name user real og fine email is there fine password is there okay i'm not getting so let me do one thing I just use the print writer object let me create the print writer here
for just checking whether I'm getting a right response or not I'm just printed here okay again compile the code so I'm not using a set that turn block I create the print writer the print writer okay 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 I create the object of print writer inside the init statement oh man Let's compile it once more. Cannot find single response. Okay. Not getting. Yeah. You are not getting it right. Because we didn't get response here. Control X is the end. We have to initialize here. Mm. So now it's compiled and again just start and stop the server. Start the server. Okay, uh, login is success, but uh, what I get here is I get a code in browser. I don't know why, why I getting this code in browser. Let me do in a proper way. X Y Z one two three four. Ah, oh, sorry. A D M I N login. XYZ admin this will become properly so my database I have x at the rate y dot com and the password is this one I also have x at the rate y dot com and the password is 12345 this is a problem ok get a problem I am getting the problem it's a problem in my database only if I put x at the rate y dot com one two three four five is also a password 
and there is two password and that is why I'm getting this error fine then I use our third ID and third ID is admin is capital and password is capital admin let me try this one so a admin at the rate y dot com and password is a d m i n capital admin at the rate y dot com this error code was executed again and again ah let me check the code once so when i log in This is okay. I think all are good. But why I am getting that problem?
Right. Let me uh, delete some temporary files from the. So here I'm just uh, going to delete some temporary files, and uh, just because of these files, also sometimes all things are okay, but we're getting such types of things that uh, our page is not reflecting it and. Uh, code is not reflected so these many things happen so let me start the server and uh, once again just recompile that code ok go to the block go to already have account admin and mim login ok admin dot com admin invalid email or password please try again so let me do one thing I just deleted all the record here let me delete delete from user blog where it is greater than or equals to 1001 so three records are deleted now comment fine now let me sign in the refresh clear screen so let me sign in the my name sorry saying x at the rate y dot com ok password is 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 now sign sign up was done let me log in so x at the rate y dot com password is one two three four five now log in error close connection ok now I get the point 
So let me check once whether the record is there. Yeah, see 1004 my name x at the rate password is 12345. The data is there, there is no problem in inserting the record. Error comes with that part close connection part. Let me open once and check where I am closing and why this will be happening. So maybe for send redirect, I close the connection will create an error. So let me not close connection here because only that mistake I am done, nothing else. compile stop and start the server and then let's do it some more refresh login Exit the reply one, two, three, four, five. Login. Okay, see dashboard.csp welcome in blogging. So I got that. Okay, so now this will be work properly and we see uh, these things here is uh, working properly. And uh, we log in in our applications, and we got dashboard here, and uh, we also uh, create users for our applications. So we sign up the user and then log in the user. Uh, one more things are pending uh, here. Let me uh, do that also. See, uh, we learn a lot of things in previous examples and all and uh, if you go through your notes if you go through your uh, study videos you got uh, many applications we created let me close one so let me open what the applications we discuss we discuss about session apps and in this session apps we create one code and here we just put it some session variable set attribute and after setting the attribute I just redirect to the welcome page now redirect to the another page and I set that attribute name and user after that, when I go to the welcome Java, I just get the attribute here. So, it is getting the session and get attribute here. What exactly I means to say that if we use that, can we? also do the same in GSP like similar in here if I want to put some code in script right and I just write the Java code I am just creating Just creating a sessions and get the attributes and the attributes I'm getting what the attributes we are set here so we set attributes here is user so I also use uh, at that uh, page 
user. So maybe I get the attribute in name and really print. Yeah. Let's try. So I just go here and refresh. Now log go to the login. I set the rate file one two three four five login connection close okay this is a old message what I see so let me do one thing I just stop and start in the server server is stopped and again I start because I make this application stateful. So, we have to know how to work with this part of the applications. So, XYZ 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, login. Okay, line number 5, HTTP session. Unable to compile. Session. Why I am able to compile? Because uh, might be I am not to uh, put it a code or a session code in JSP. So it's okay. We can put some code. So we just uh, put some code in JSP file so that uh, not getting some error. So this file will work properly. That's we know that. So let make this file in a well way or in a well manner. So what I am going to do here is get the current session if there is one or if the session is not equals to null then this code is invalidate the session. So I don't want to invalidate the session. What I want to do is I want to do to just call the session, just make a session object and get a string and print the string. That's it. So I just request dot get sessions, nothing else. So I want to do here that thing request dot get sessions. I don't want to uh, close that uh, session. So, just getting the session, retrieving the data, and print the data. That's it. And arrest, let me comment. We can use that code too when we invalidate the session. So, currently, I, we don't want to invalidate it. Now, let's refresh few more times stop start because logout is uh, very important okay then login Number four duplicate local variables. As okay, uh, 
at obligate global variable because yes, we provide implicit object. Fine. One more try. Let's work now and uh, we get uh, different uh, sessions here. So, what I uh, want to do now with this apps, let me use uh, HTTP colon double slash here and uh, again. Admin, admin, and then sign in. Let me start my blog. And in my blog, if I go to which page, so my page is let's see here our page. So, what page we are exactly in book is dashboard. We use to call dashboard. So let me directly invoke that page. Yes, sport dot JSP. It's not found. So it's not giving me that page. Okay. Let me go. I already have so I call uh, x at the rate y dot com and the password is one two three four five and login. Now change your password. Why? Because already someone is using and someone is already active with that session. If session is already activated by others, then if you use that session, it will be created a problem. Okay, let me go to sign up and I create uh, one more users and my users is my friend Ramesh. So Ramesh, what is your uh, R at the rate M dot com? What password you needed? One two three four. Okay. One two three four. Okay. Now let me sign up. Okay. Uh, now I need to log in here. So R at the rate. One, two, three, four. Login for Ramesh. And this is what a problem is with the applications when we're using a multiple users. So I stop once. And before, oh, okay, let me start. And let me see and show you that, okay, there is a multiple user and we create C we create a dynamic or uh, unique ID for the empty users fine data is there but a uh, the problem is not able to 
log two users at a time. Is one two three four. Now welcome to the mess. It's working. But what about uh, this one? Can we refresh and got a same response? No. If I refresh, this page will be refreshed, and this page is not identify the current session. But there is a session, and that is why we see the error because session is running. Please close the session, and uh, a solutions of uh, this closing se session is we just simply go to the sign up page. And in that sign up page, what I need to do is so in that sign up page, I just simply okay. So what I uh, need to call is, we can simply go to the sign up page and uh, or not on a sign up page, sorry, for login page because uh, operations will perform in login when we use it and even not in a signing, signing is forwarded to the sign up page. So we go here in sign up page and in here I just write a simple code to get the current session and this code is just invalidate the session object. So if the session is activated this will be invalidated. So what problem we are facing if one time we are uh, logging to the page and the second time we are going and again we are going to the page then this so this uh, uh, close the session because it's already activate error close connection because connection is open so what I need to do that is just go to a log Let me log in with x, y, z, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, now log, see, now I have not got any, again see my session is activated and what I am doing here, I just again write it and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so once session is activated, it is creating error, okay. it will create error, because it's not only this about the session, it's also about the connections and a connection is open for the particular user. So database is open, database is not closed and if I do such operations then definitely I get some error like that. So what is the other uh, solutions for that. So this is the basic things what we study and this is the basic turbo suit we are added in applications. So we created one applications a lots of there in this applications also because it's just a sign up and login page you see for a state 
multiple applications for multi-user applications and uh, we study about the importance of sessions and uh, uh, invalidate of their sessions so what, what problems are coming here is when we log in and uh, sorry I just put it a code in uh, sign up page we have to put the code in here and have to check whether the session is activated or no so we have to write that code here so http session take se and if se is not equals to then close the session this will work so many more in this uh, We cannot use this outside of the methods, so we have to use this code inside some method. So better to put that code in init part if there is some session is activated and if there is some session is activated then we have to close that session and we also have to close con dot so connection we also have to close the connection if session is there so again just compile that code session dot invalidate cannot find symbol session dot invalidate request dot get session is so not find session why not find session uh, because uh, see why not find session just because of we are not using these libraries so we have to use this library if we are working with sessions Fine. Now let's compile the code. Now what? Oops. Again, again, again. This code must be right inside the do post or to get method. Session dot invalid. Fine. Because our object is SP. Now,
we use that method and definitely this method is long with try and catch only without using try and catch we cannot use this logic So it's done now. Let's start the server. And try again for that. Refresh the page. And that is why a programming is a word of patience. One, two, three, four, five. Login. So here we go with Ramesh. So this application is working now. Uh, we write uh, other logic like we, we are in a dashboard and now we provide some interface to enter some blocks and paste it. So when user can enter some block and paste, then it will be reflect in a block part and then we update this block part right uh, currently in this block part what we see uh, we see uh, the sign up page will come but exactly in block we see the all the blocks are posted by the different different user or display so the so take a few more hours for that and uh, i think uh, uh, time was over and time limit was over uh, if uh, they give me more time then I will complete this uh, uh, blog applications and uh, make a stateful blog applications like multiple users have come login in this applications and paste their blog and a blog chain by the others users who are not registered in this uh, applications so if they are not registered no need to bother he, he can see the blog and read the blog if you want to post something then he also uh, change themselves to the registered users and pasted the blog on the websites so for that for uh, this uh, demonstrations part for this uh, development part we see what we learn so thank you so much guys